Hey guys, it's Miss Creekmore. I'm in my classroom today. Yay! Um, won't be here for too long, just handing out stuff today. I wanted to share a new book with you. It's called Full House, An Invitation to Fractions. I needed the whiteboard today, so I'm going to do a little lesson for you. Hope you enjoy this book because it's really cute. The Strawberry Inn was run by Miss Bloom. Happy was she to fill every room with one for herself and five for the guest. There were six rooms in all for a cozy night's rest. The Strawberry Inn. Vacancy. Do you know what the word vacancy means? It means she has room and it tells us that up here with one for herself and five for the guest. How many rooms were there? There were six rooms. So it had me thinking, imagine this is the house and she had six rooms. So I'm gonna pretend that this is the house and I'm gonna partition it in half and then into thirds. So we have six. One root for herself and five more. So let's just kind of take a look at that. Knock, knock went the door. Ding dong, the bell rang. Welcome, welcome, Miss Bloom sang. I arrest that might be my wish, said Sea Captain Duffy, who smelled just like a fish. So Sea Captain Duffy, all tired and done, followed Miss Bloom to room number one. Now one room of six had a guest for the night. To fill up the inn would be pure delight. So Miss Bloom was feeling filling up one six. So there was a guest in that room. So I'm going to color that in, shade it in. Knock, knock went the door. Ding dong, the bell rang. Welcome, welcome, Miss Bloom sang. Charmed, I'm sure, said the Duchess Buffet. Smoochie and I are on a holiday. So the Duchess Buffet in Sapphires of Blue followed Miss Bloom to room number two. Now two rooms of six had guests for the night. To fill up the inn would be pure delight. So now Miss Bloom has one room filled up, another room filled up for two six. <clears throat> knock, knock went the door. Ding dong, the bell rang. Welcome, welcome, Mrs. Bloom sang. Care for a hairbrush, a toothbrush, and a comb, or maybe a vacuum, said salesman Jerome. Arms full of shoe polish, pots, pans, and tea, he followed Miss Bloom to room number three. Now three rooms of six had guests for the night. To fill up the inn would be pure delight. So salesman Jerome made the third room fill up. So she has three six of her house claimed for now. And I look at that and I think, hmm, three six, is there an equivalent fraction to her house here? Hmm. Knock, knock went the door. Ding dong, the bell ring. Welcome, welcome, Mrs. Bloom sang. In town for my show, said Trainer P. Kline. From smallest to largest, his dog stood in line. Then Trainer P. Kline and doggies galore danced down the hall to room number four. Now four rooms of six had guests for the night. To fill up the inn would be pure delight. So four six of the house is taken. Knock, knock went the door. Ding dong, the bell rang. Welcome, welcome, Mrs. Bloom sang. My biggest race ever, said Johnny Z. Powder. I hit through 110 miles per hour. Carrying his trophy and pleased to arrive, he followed Mrs. Bloom to room number five. Five rooms of six had guests for the night, filling Miss Bloom with pure delight. 
she loves having a house full of guests at Strawberry Inn. Then into the kitchen, Miss Bloom went to make a scrumptious dinner for all to partake. There were chicken and peas, potatoes, a gratin, but the very best part, Mrs. Bloom had forgotten. A strawberry cake with whipped cream piled high still sat on the counter when the last dish was dry. Tired and happy, they all went to bed. Miss Bloom in room six. It's a full house, she said. Six, six equals one whole because Miss Bloom takes up that six room. Six, six equals one whole. The guest and Miss Bloom all called out, Good night! plumped up each pillow and turned off each light. But then in the dark came shuffles and wiggles, whispers and mumbles, scuffles and giggles. Shadows were tiptoeing down the long hallway, but where were they going, bath robes and all? Mmm. <laughs> Yummy yum. Suddenly Miss Bloom sat up in bed. Something's not right at my inn, she said. She rushed in the kitchen and turned off the light. There she saw an astonishing sight. <gasps> what do you think she saw? Five out of six, and the dogs and the cat, still covered with cake from toe to top hat. Well, said Mrs. Bloom, and Teetle Dee Dee, thank you for saving the last piece for me. One six was left. The last piece for her, and when she ate it, six six of the whole strawberry pie was gone. The end. Hope you enjoyed this book called Full House. Bye, guys.